Montana CDL has met practice exam. Question 1. Carriers must give each driver who transports class A or B explosive. An extra fire bottle. A copy of FMCSR Part 397. The consignee's phone number. Answer. A copy of FMCSR Part 397. Question 2. You do not have a hazardous materials endorsement on your commercial driver's license. When can you legally haul hazardous material? Only if it is a non-placarded material. Only when the shipment does not cross the state lines. Only when the load is placarded. Answer. Only if it is a non-placarded material. Question 3. Who is responsible for packaging, labeling, and preparing the hazardous material shipping papers for a common carrier? Carrier Shipper Driver Answer Shipper Question 4. When shippers package hazardous materials, they must certify that this was done according to the regulations. The only exception is when The shipment is a hazardous waste. The driver is given a sealed cargo compartment. The shipper is a private carrier, carrying their own product. Answer the shipper is a private carrier, carrying their own product. Question 5. When handling packages of explosive, you must Keep bystanders 100 feet away. Never use hooks or other metal tools. Double wrap wet boxes in plastic to prevent staining. Answer. Never use hooks or other metal tools. Question 6. The basic description of a hazardous material includes the hazard class, the ID number, and the proper shipping name. Which one must appear first on the shipping paper? The hazard class. The proper shipping name. The identification number. Answer. The proper shipping name. Question 7. A truck carrying explosives has crashed with another vehicle. You should not pull them apart until. The explosives have been placed at least 200 feet away from the vehicles and occupied buildings. The shipper's loading foreman is present. At least 30 minutes have passed. Answer The explosives have been placed at least 200 feet away from the vehicles and occupied buildings. Question 8. You have a vehicle with the tracks to hold cylinders or compressed gas. You may load such cylinders only if they are Bundled loosely together with steel strapping Loaded upright of lying down flat and braced Less than half of the load Answer Loaded upright of lying down flat and braced. Question 9. You have a vehicle with the tracks to hold cylinders or compressed gas. You may load such cylinders only if they are Less than half of the load. 
loaded upright of lying down flat and braced. Bundled loosely together with still strapping. Answer. Loaded upright of lying down flat and braced. Question 10. The basic description of a hazardous material includes the hazard class, the ID number, and the proper shipping name. Which one must appear first on the shipping paper? The identification number. The hazard class. The proper shipping name. Answer. The proper shipping name. Question 11. If there is an RQ before or after the item description on the shipping paper, it means the Material has an insurance value of over $1,000. Material is in a package containing no other materials. Carrier must report any spill of this material. Answer Carrier must report any spill of this material. Question 12. You do not have a hazardous materials endorsement on your commercial driver's license. When can you legally haul hazardous material? Only when the shipment does not cross the state lines. Only when the load is placarded. Only if it is a non-placarded material. Answer Only if it is a non-placarded material. Question 13. When handling packages of explosive, you must Double wrap wet boxes in plastic to prevent staining. Never use hooks or other metal tools. Keep bystanders 100 feet away. Answer Never use hooks or other metal tools. Question 14. With most hazardous materials, you may park within 5 feet of the road briefly, if your work requires it. The materials that are the exception and do not allow parking this close to the road are Corrosives and oxidizers Acids and poisons Explosives A and B Answer Explosives at NB. Question 15. If there is an RQ before or after the item description on the shipping paper, it means the Material is in a package containing no other materials. Material has an insurance value of over $1,000. Carrier must report any spill of this material. Answer Carrier must report any spill of this material. Question 16. Animals and human food stuff should not be loaded in the same vehicle with Flammable gases Poisons Explosives Answer Poisons Question 17. You are hauling hazardous materials and you find that one of your tires is leaking. You must Continue at reduced speed, and check the tire every 25 miles. Stop at the nearest safe place and fix it. Report it to your carrier immediately. Answer Stop at the nearest safe place and fix it. Question 18. 
The basic description of a hazardous material includes the hazard class, the ID number, and the proper shipping name, which one must appear first on the shipping paper. The identification number, the proper shipping name, the hazard class. Answer The proper shipping name. Question 19. A railroad crossing is ahead of you and you are handling hazardous material. When you stop for the crossing, you can stop as far away as feet from the nearest trail. 25 50 75 Answer 50 Question 20. A hazard class name or ID number may not be used to describe a Non-hazardous material Hazardous waste Reportable quantity of a hazardous substance Answer Non-hazardous material Question 21. When shippers package hazardous materials, they must certify that this was done according to the regulations. The only exception is when The shipper is a private carrier, carrying their own product. The shipment is a hazardous waste. The driver is given a sealed cargo compartment. Answer the shipper is a private carrier, carrying their own product. Question 22. Who is responsible for finding out what permits or special routes you will need to haul hazardous materials? The carrier. The shipper. The driver. Answer. The driver. Question 23. When handling packages of explosive, you must Never use hooks or other metal tools. Keep bystanders 100 feet away. Double wrap wet boxes in plastic to prevent staining. Answer. Never use hooks or other metal tools. Question 24. Who is responsible for safely transporting a hazardous material shipment without delay and keeping the shipping papers in the right place? The shipper. The driver. The carrier. Answer. The driver. Question 25. When shippers package hazardous materials, they must certify that this was done according to the regulations. The only exception is when The shipment is a hazardous waste. The driver is given a sealed cargo compartment. The shipper is a private carrier carrying their own product. Answer The shipper is a private carrier, carrying their own product. Question 26. You are behind the wheel of a truck carrying a shipment of hazardous material. The shipping papers must be in a pouch on the driver's door or in a box under the driver's seat. The truck's glove compartment. Clear view within your reach. Answer. Clear view within your reach.
Question 27, if there is an RQ before or after the item description on the shipping paper, it means the Carrier must report any spill of this material. Material has an insurance value of over $1,000. Material is in a package containing no other materials. Answer Carrier must report any spill of this material. Question 28 You should stop before crossing a railroad grade if your vehicle is carrying of chlorine 100 gallons any amount 110 gallons answer any amount question 29 when fueling a placard at vehicle someone must always be Within 10 feet of the pump with a fire extinguisher. At the emergency power shut off for the pump. At the nozzle, controlling the fuel flow. Answer At the nozzle, controlling the fuel flow. Question 30. You are going to be hauling hazardous materials over a route you do not know well. When should you check the route and get the permits needed for this trip? Before starting the trip. While you are still on a part of the route that you know. Within 24 hours of the finish of the trip. Answer. Before starting the trip. Question 31. Which of the following must drivers have in their possession while transporting class A or B explosives? The written route plan. The carrier's insurance policy. Both of the above. Answer. The written route plan. Question 32. To stop for railroad tracks, you should stop. Feet before the nearest track. 15 to 50. 10 to 35. 5 to 20. Answer. 15 to 50. Question 33. A truck carrying explosives has crashed with another vehicle. You should not pull them apart until The explosives have been placed at least 200 feet away from the vehicles and occupied buildings. At least 30 minutes have passed. The shipper's loading foreman is present. Answer the explosives have been placed at least 200 feet away from the vehicles and occupied buildings. Question 34. You do not have a hazardous materials endorsement on your commercial driver's license. When can you legally haul hazardous material? Only if it is a non-placarded material. Only when the shipment does not cross the state lines. Only when the load is placarded. Answer. Only if it is a non-placarded material. Question 35. Animals and human food stuff should not be loaded in the same vehicle with Explosives Flammable gases Poisons Answer. Poisons. Question 36. 
An X in the hmm column of a shipping paper entry means. This is an exception to the hazardous materials regulations. The entry is for a hazardous material. The material is not a hazardous material. Answer The entry is for a hazardous material. Question 37 You may not park a vehicle carrying hazardous materials within feet of an open fire. 200 300 100 Answer 300 Question 38 You are behind the wheel of a truck carrying a shipment of hazardous material. The shipping papers must be in a pouch on the driver's door or in Clear view within your reach. The truck's glove compartment. A box under the driver's seat. Answer. Clear view within your reach. Question 39. Which of the following must drivers have in their possession while transporting class A or B explosives? The carrier's insurance policy. The written route plan. Both of the above. Answer. The written route plan. Question 40. You do not have a hazardous materials endorsement on your commercial driver's license. When can you legally haul hazardous material? Only when the shipment does not cross the state lines. Only when the load is placarded. Only if it is a non-placarded material. Answer Only if it is a non-placarded material. Question 41 There are two lists that drivers, shippers, and carriers use to find out if a material is a regulated product. One of these lists is the Shippers list of transportable quantities EPA dangerous materials table List of hazardous substances and reportable quantities Answer List of hazardous substances and reportable quantities. Question 42. Who is responsible for packaging, labeling, and preparing the hazardous material shipping papers for a common carrier? Driver. Shipper. Carrier. Answer. Shipper. Question 43. If the word forbidden appears in the hazard class column of an entry in the hazardous materials table, a common carrier must never transport the material. A shipment of that material must never be larger than the RQ. The carrier may not open the package or container. Answer. A common carrier must never transport the material. Question 44. A vehicle placarded for hazardous materials must have placards on. Sides. 4. 3. 2. Answer. Four. Question 45. You may not park a vehicle carrying hazardous materials within feet of an open fire. 300. 
One hundred. Two hundred. Answer. Three hundred. Question forty six. A properly prepared uniform hazardous waste manifest is the same as any other shipping paper. Is required only if there is a loss of cargo during transport. Must be signed and carried by anyone transporting a hazardous waste. Answer. Must be signed and carried by anyone transporting a hazardous waste. Question 47. Which of the following must drivers have in their possession while transporting class A or B explosives? The written route plan. The carrier's insurance policy. Both of the above. Answer. The written route plan. Question 48. When transporting chlorine in cargo tanks, you must have An emergency kit for controlling leaks in fittings on the dome cover plate An approved gas mask Both of the above Answer Both of the above Question 49. Who is responsible for checking to be sure the shipper correctly named, labeled, and marked a hazardous materials shipment? Shipper Manufacturer Carrier Answer Carrier Question 50. When shippers package hazardous materials, they must certify that this was done according to the regulations. The only exception is when The shipper is a private carrier, carrying their own product. The shipment is a hazardous waste. The driver is given a sealed cargo compartment. Answer the shipper is a private carrier, carrying their own product. Question 51. Whenever your vehicle is placarded, do not drive near open fires unless you are equipped with fire sprinklers. Can safely pass the fire without stopping. Have LTL of a non-flammable materials. Answer. Can safely pass the fire without stopping. Question 52. The transport index of a radioactive material is something that only the shipper needs to worry about. Tells the degree of control needed during transportation. Is another way of writing the weight of the package. Answer. Tells the degree of control needed during transportation. Question 53. You should stop before crossing a railroad grade if your vehicle is carrying of chlorine. 100 gallons. 110 gallons. Any amount. Answer. Any amount. Question 54. To stop for railroad tracks, you should stop feet before the nearest track. 15 to 50. 10 to 35. 5 to 20. Answer. 15 to 50. 
Question 55. The intent of hazardous materials regulations is to ensure safety, to contain the material, and to allow state enforcement to communicate the risk to tax shippers correctly. Answer To communicate the risk Question 56. You are hauling hazardous materials and you find that one of your tires is leaking. You must Report it to your carrier immediately. Stop at the nearest safe place and fix it. Continue at reduced speed, and check the tire every 25 miles. Answer Stop at the nearest safe place and fix it. Question 57 You are behind the wheel of a truck carrying a shipment of hazardous material. The shipping papers must be in a pouch on the driver's door or in Clear view within your reach A box under the driver's seat The truck's glove compartment Answer Clear view within your reach Question 58 a railroad crossing is ahead of you and you are handling hazardous material. When you stop for the crossing, you can stop as far away as feet from the nearest trail. 25 75 50 Answer 50 Question 59. A truck carrying explosives has crashed with another vehicle. You should not pull them apart until At least 30 minutes have passed. The shipper's loading foreman is present. The explosives have been placed at least 200 feet away from the vehicles and occupied buildings. Answer the explosives have been placed at least 200 feet away from the vehicles and occupied buildings. Question 60. When there is hazardous materials emergency, you should Prevent smoking and keep open flames away. Keep people away and warn them of danger. Do both of the above. Answer Do both of the above Question 61 An X in the hmm column of a shipping paper entry means The entry is for a hazardous material The material is not a hazardous material This is an exception to the hazardous materials regulations Answer The entry is for a hazardous material. Question 62. A vehicle contains 500 pounds each of explosive A and B. You must have Explosives of placards Blasting agents placards Dangerous placards Answer Explosives of placards Question 63 The total transport index of all radioactive material packages in a single vehicle must not exceed 10 50 100 Answer 50 Question 64 
No one may smoke within 25 feet of any vehicle that contains explosives, oxidizers, or poisons, flammable materials, compressed gases. Answer Flammable materials. Question 65. You have a vehicle with L tracks to hold cylinders or compressed gas. You may load such cylinders only if they are Loaded upright of lying down flat and braced Bundled loosely together with steel strapping Less than half of the load Answer Loaded upright of lying down flat and braced. Question 66. A vehicle contains 500 pounds each of explosive A and B. You must have Explosives of placards. Dangerous placards. Blasting agents placards. Answer Explosives of placards Question 67 You have loaded a hazardous material into a cargo tank. What must you do before you move the vehicle? Close all manholes and valves. Be sure they are free of leaks. Have the loading observers sign the shipping papers. Call Kim Drag by phone and tell them where you are going. Answer Close all manholes and valves. Be sure they are free of leaks. Question 68 When handling packages of explosive, you must Double wrap wet boxes in plastic to prevent staining. Keep bystanders 100 feet away. Never use hooks or other metal tools. Answer Never use hooks or other metal tools. Question 69 You are behind the wheel of a truck carrying a shipment of hazardous material. The shipping papers must be in a pouch on the driver's door or in A box under the driver's seat The truck's glove compartment Clear view within your reach Answer Clear view within your reach Question 70 you are going to be hauling hazardous materials over a route you do not know well. When should you check the route and get the permits needed for this trip? Within 24 hours of the finish of the trip. While you are still on a part of the route that you know. Before starting the trip. Answer Before starting the trip. Question 71. Who is responsible for packaging, labeling, and preparing the hazardous material shipping papers for a common carrier? Carrier Driver Shipper Answer Shipper Question 72. You are transporting hazardous materials. When you are not behind the wheel, the shipping papers must be on the driver's seat or With you On the dashboard in clear view In the pouch on the driver's door Answer In the pouch on the driver's door 
Question 73. When transporting chlorine in cargo tanks, you must have an approved gas mask, an emergency kit for controlling leaks in fittings on the dome cover plate, both of the above. Answer. Both of the above. Question 74. Whenever your vehicle is placarded, do not drive near open fires unless you are equipped with fire sprinklers, have LTL of a non-flammable materials, can safely pass the fire without stopping. Answer. Can safely pass the fire without stopping. Question 75. To find out if a shipment includes of hazardous materials, you should Look at the shipping papers. Open and inspect every package and container. Check for a fence around the loading dock. Answer. Look at the shipping papers. Question 76. The intent of hazardous materials regulations is to ensure safety, to contain the material, and to tax shippers correctly, to communicate the risk, to allow state enforcement. Answer. To communicate the risk. Question 77. You are transporting hazardous materials. When you are not behind the wheel, the shipping papers must be on the driver's seat door. In the pouch on the driver's door. With you. On the dashboard and clear view. Answer. In the pouch on the driver's door. Question 78. There are two lists that drivers, shippers, and carriers use to find out if a material is a regulated product. One of these lists is the EPA Dangerous Materials Table. Shippers List of Transportable Quantities. List of hazardous substances and reportable quantities. Answer List of hazardous substances and reportable quantities. Question 79 You have a vehicle with L tracks to hold cylinders or compressed gas. You may load such cylinders only if they are. Bundled loosely together with steel strapping. Less than half of the load. Loaded upright of lying down flat and braced. Answer. Loaded upright of lying down flat and braced. Question 80. When shippers package hazardous materials, they must certify that this was done according to the regulations. The only exception is when The shipper is a private carrier, carrying their own product. The driver is given a sealed cargo compartment. The shipment is a hazardous waste. Answer The shipper is a private carrier carrying their own product. Question 81. Who is responsible for packaging, labeling, and preparing the hazardous material shipping papers for a common carrier? Driver. Carrier. Shipper. Answer. Shipper. 
Question 82. When handling packages of explosive, you must Double wrap wet boxes in plastic to prevent staining. Keep bystanders 100 feet away. Never use hooks or other metal tools. Answer Never use hooks or other metal tools. Question 83. A hazard class name or ID number may not be used to describe a Reportable quantity of a hazardous substance Hazardous waste Non-hazardous material Answer Non-hazardous material Question 84. Who is responsible for checking to be sure the shipper correctly named, labeled, and marked a hazardous materials shipment? Shipper Carrier Manufacturer Answer Carrier Question 85. You may not park a vehicle carrying hazardous materials within feet of an open fire. 100 300 200 Answer 300 Question 86 you have a vehicle with all tracks to hold cylinders or compressed gas. You may load such cylinders only if they are Bundled loosely together with steel strapping Less than half of the load Loaded upright of lying down flat and braced Answer Loaded upright of lying down flat and braced Question 87. If there is an RQ before or after the item description on the shipping paper, it means the Carrier must report any spill of this material. Material has an insurance value of over $1,000. Material is in a package containing no other materials. Answer Carrier must report any spill of this material. Question 88. When hauling hazardous materials, you must stop your vehicle and check any dual tires at least once every. Whichever is less. 3 hours or 150 miles. 2 hours or 100 miles. 1 hour or 50 miles Answer 2 hours or 100 miles Question 89 The total transport index of all radioactive material packages in a single vehicle must not exceed 10 50 100 Answer 50 Question 90 If hazardous materials is spilling from your vehicle, do not move your vehicle In an upwind direction Any more than 500 feet Any more than safety requires Answer Any more than safety requires Question 91 Who is responsible for finding out what permits or special routes you will need to haul hazardous materials? The driver The shipper The carrier 
Answer. The driver. Question 92. A vehicle placarded for hazardous materials must have placards on. Sides. 2. 4. 3. Answer. 4. Question 93. No one may smoke within 25 feet of any vehicle that contains explosives, oxidizers, or Compressed gases Flammable materials Poisons Answer Flammable materials Question 94. You are hauling hazardous materials and you find that one of your tires is leaking. You must Continue at reduced speed, and check the tire every 25 miles. Report it to your carrier immediately. Stop at the nearest safe place and fix it. Answer Stop at the nearest safe place and fix it. Question 95. A hazard class name or ID number may not be used to describe a Hazardous waste Reportable quantity of a hazardous substance Non-hazardous material Answer Non-hazardous material Question 96 who is responsible for finding out what permits or special routes you will need to haul hazardous materials? The driver. The shipper. The carrier. Answer. The driver. Question 97. Who is responsible for packaging, labeling? and preparing the hazardous material shipping papers for a common carrier. Carrier Shipper Driver Answer Shipper Question 98. You are behind the wheel of a truck carrying a shipment of hazardous material. The shipping papers must be in a pouch on the driver's door or in The truck's glove compartment Clear view within your reach A box under the driver's seat Answer Clear view within your reach Question 99 if you are in an accident involving hazardous materials, you should Prevent a panic by acting like nothing is wrong Tell only the emergency response team about the hazard Keep all people far away and upwind of the accident Answer Keep all people far away and upwind of the accident Question 100. You may not park a vehicle carrying hazardous materials within feet of an open fire. 300 100 200 Answer 300 Question 101. A truck carrying explosives has crashed with another vehicle. You should not pull them apart until At least 30 minutes have passed. 
The explosives have been placed at least 200 feet away from the vehicles and occupied buildings. The shipper's loading foreman is present. Answer The explosives have been placed at least 200 feet away from the vehicles and occupied buildings. Question 102 No one may smoke within 25 feet of any vehicle that contains explosives, oxidizers, or Flammable materials Poisons Compressed gases Answer Flammable materials Question 103 You find an overheated tire during an en route inspection. If you are hauling hazardous materials, you must Cool the tire, then check it every two hours. Remove the tire and place it a safe distance from the vehicle. Wait at least two hours before continuing your trip. Answer Remove the tire and place it a safe distance from the vehicle. Question 104. You are hauling hazardous materials and you find that one of your tires is leaking. You must Stop at the nearest safe place and fix it. Continue at reduced speed, and check the tire every 25 miles. Report it to your carrier immediately. Answer Stop at the nearest safe place and fix it. Question 105. The total transport index of all radioactive material packages in a single vehicle must not exceed 100 10 50 Answer 50 Question 106 If an X or an RQ is in the hmm column of a shipping paper entry, the Material listed on that line is the largest part of the shipment. Entry refers to the materials that must be top-loaded. Shipment is regulated by hazardous material regulations. Answer Shipment is regulated by hazardous material regulations. Question 107 When fueling a placard at vehicle, someone must always be within 10 feet of the pump with a fire extinguisher at the emergency power shut off for the pump at the nozzle. Controlling the fuel flow. Answer At the nozzle, controlling the fuel flow. Question 108. Only one of these shipping paper descriptions for a hazardous material is in the right order. Which one is it? Corrosive material, hydrochloric acid. UN 1789 Hexen, UN 1208, flammable liquid Hydrogen bromide, non-flammable gas, UN 1048 Answer Hydrogen bromide, non-flammable gas, UN 1048 Question 109. You are going to be hauling hazardous materials over a route you do not know well. When should you check the route and get the permits needed for this trip? While you are still on a part of the route that you know. Within 24 hours of the finish of the trip.
before starting the trip? Answer. Before starting the trip. Question 110. When transporting chlorine in cargo tanks, you must have an approved gas mask, an emergency kit for controlling leaks in fittings on the dome cover plate, both of the above. Answer. Both of the above. Question 111. If there is an RQ before or after the item description on the shipping paper, it means the Material is in a package containing no other materials. Carrier must report any spill of this material. Material has an insurance value of over $1,000. Answer Carrier must report any spill of this material. Question 112. With most hazardous materials, you may park within 5 feet of the road briefly, if your work requires it. The materials that are the exception and do not allow parking this close to the road are Corrosives and oxidizers Acids and poisons Explosives A and B Answer Explosives A and B Question 113 an X in the hmm column of a shipping paper entry means. This is an exception to the hazardous materials regulations. The material is not a hazardous material. The entry is for a hazardous material. Answer. The entry is for a hazardous material. Question 114. You should stop before crossing a railroad grade if your vehicle is carrying of chlorine. 100 gallons. Any amount. 110 gallons. Answer. Any amount. Question 115. When fueling a placard at vehicle, someone must always be within 10 feet of the pump with a fire extinguisher, at the emergency power shut off for the pump, at the nozzle, controlling the fuel flow. Answer. At the nozzle, controlling the fuel flow. Question 116. When there is hazardous materials emergency, you should Keep people away and warn them of danger. Prevent smoking and keep open flames away. Do both of the above. Answer. Do both of the above. Question 117. A vehicle placarded for hazardous materials must have placards on. Besides. 3. 2. 4. Answer. 4. Question 118. The basic description of a hazardous material includes the hazard class, the ID number, and the proper shipping name. Which one must appear first on the shipping paper? The identification number. The hazard class. The proper shipping name. 
Answer. The proper shipping name. Question 119. When hauling hazardous materials, you must stop your vehicle and check any dual tires at least once every. Whichever is less. 2 hours or 100 miles. 1 hour or 50 miles. 3 hours or 150 miles. Answer. 2 hours or 100 miles. Question 120. Who is responsible for packaging, labeling? and preparing the hazardous material shipping papers for a common carrier. Shipper Driver Carrier Answer Shipper Question 121 A railroad crossing is ahead of you and you are handling hazardous material. When you stop for the crossing, you can stop as far away as feet from the nearest trail. 75 25 50 Answer 50 Question 122 the transport index of a radioactive material is something that only the shipper needs to worry about. Tells the degree of control needed during transportation. Is another way of writing the weight of the package. Answer Tells the degree of control needed during transportation. Question 123. A driver who transports radioactive materials and has to follow a certain route must have had special training by the carrier within the last years. 3 4 2 Answer 2 Question 124. The power unit of a placarded vehicle must have a fire extinguisher with the all rating of BC or more. 5 10 15 Answer 10 Question 125. You find an overheated tire during an en route inspection. If you are hauling hazardous materials, you must Remove the tire and place it a safe distance from the vehicle. Cool the tire, then check it every two hours. Wait at least two hours before continuing your trip. Answer Remove the tire and place it a safe distance from the vehicle. Question 126. You are transporting hazardous materials. When you are not behind the wheel, the shipping papers must be on the driver's seat door. In the pouch on the driver's door. With you. On the dashboard and clear view. Answer In the pouch on the driver's door. Question 127 When fueling a placard at vehicle, someone must always be at the nozzle, controlling the fuel flow within 10 feet of the pump with a fire extinguisher at the emergency power shut off for the pump. Answer At the nozzle, 
Controlling the fuel flow. Question 128. When handling packages of explosive, you must Never use hooks or other metal tools. Keep bystanders 100 feet away. Double wrap wet boxes in plastic to prevent staining. Answer Never use hooks or other metal tools. Question 129. You should stop before crossing a railroad grade if your vehicle is carrying of chlorine. Any amount. 110 gallons. 100 gallons. Answer. Any amount. Question 130. You are going to be hauling hazardous materials over a route you do not know well. When should you check the route and get the permits needed for this trip? While you are still on a part of the route that you know. Within 24 hours of the finish of the trip. Before starting the trip. Answer. Before starting the trip. Question 131. You have loaded a hazardous material into a cargo tank. What must you do before you move the vehicle? Close all manholes and valves. Be sure they are free of leaks. Call Chemtrack by phone and tell them where you are going. Have the loading observers sign the shipping papers. Answer Close all manholes and valves. Be sure they are free of leaks. Question 132 Who is responsible for packaging, labeling, and preparing the hazardous material shipping papers for a common carrier? Carrier Shipper Driver Answer Shipper Question 133 To stop for railroad tracks, you should stop feet before the nearest track. 15 to 50 5 to 20 10 to 35 Answer 15 to 50 Question 134 A driver who transports radioactive materials and has to follow a certain route must have had special training by the carrier within the last years 3 2 4 Answer 2 Question 135 If hazardous materials is spilling from your vehicle, do not move your vehicle. In an upwind direction. Any more than safety requires. Any more than 500 feet. Answer. Any more than safety requires. Question 136. When hauling hazardous materials, you must stop your vehicle and check any dual tires at least once every. Whichever is less. One hour or fifty miles. Three hours or one hundred fifty miles. Two hours or one hundred miles. Answer. Two hours or one hundred miles. 
Question 137, you are going to be hauling hazardous materials over a route you do not know well. When should you check the route and get the permits needed for this trip? Within 24 hours of the finish of the trip. While you are still on a part of the route that you know. Before starting the trip. Answer. Before starting the trip. Question 138. Who is responsible for finding out what permits or special routes you will need to haul hazardous materials? The shipper. The carrier. The driver. Answer. The driver. Thank you for watching the video and wish you will get your driver license soon.